and welcome back to another video guys we're working again on the nissan altima and today we're going to replace the front struts i already got a few wrenches on there just to show what size they are so on the top three bolts these three bolts right here you're going to need a 13 millimeter socket and a wrench 13 millimeter if you got a ratcheting wrench like this it's easier to get to this one if not you're going to need a you're going to need a socket with a with a ratchet 13 millimeter especially for this one because i can't fit the wrench in there like you see so you're going to need a socket with a ratchet put it on there and, re and remove them three bolts okay and the bottom here there's two bolts you got to remove these two right here you're gonna need a 21 millimeter 21 millimeter socket with a ratchet and you have a nut on the other side so you're gonna need another 21 millimeter on this side too either a wrench or another socket with a ratchet there's two bolts you gotta remove and you're also gonna have to remove the sway bar link in my case my sway bar link has a 19 millimeter head um, nut and in the back of it you have to hold it right behind there so basically like this one on the bottom i don't have to remove that one but you see here it has this piece right here it has a basically a square piece that you can insert an open wrench and in this case mine is 16 millimeter which is that one right there 16 millimeter in the back and you need to loosen the nut with a 19 millimeter. Once you do this, these two bolts and the three bolts on the top, you should be able to just take this out. Oh, wait, don't forget one thing. I have to remove the brake line clip retainer right here. So this thing, you push it out in this direction and it comes right out. And then you're able to remove the hose. You insert it in and out that way and it comes out. I'll show you when I have it all apart. Like I said, I was saying this clip right here, all you gotta do is try to remove it just like so. And once you do that, you're able to just push this in and out and, it, and it's released. Same thing with this one. This one's, well, not the same thing, but it's a grommet. And because it's wrapped around the strut, you have to remove it like so. Like so, that's easy. It doesn't have a clip or anything. You just rub a grommets. All you do is just pull them out. But anyway, you get the idea. I need both hands. That one's out. I'm going to get this one out. I'm going to finish taking the bolts out. This is out, the nut. And then I'll be able to push everything out and just release it. I'll remove it. All right, everything down here is pretty much ready to come out. So you can see this is separated from the strut. I got the wire for the wheel speed sensor removed from here and from here and it's wrapped around this bracket so that it's out of the way along with this thing the brake line now i'm going to go on the top i'm going to go ahead and remove these three bolts and everything should be able to drop i'm going to remove two i'll have one where i'm going to start releasing it by hand as i got my other hand down here holding the strut all right guys as you can see it's completely out here it is. Now, I, I kind of struggled a little bit with the sway bar link because it was stuck on the, on the straw itself, right? So I had to use a bar like so and placed it right here and pushed down on the bar. And that allowed me to remove the strut out here to where I could separate the strut from, from the sway bar link. You can avoid all that by just removing the sway bar from here, from the bottom one, and maybe it's easier. Or just removing the sway bar obviously from here and from there too, and just remo removing the sway bar out, and then work on the strut. You don't have to do it exactly this way. Okay, the installation process went in just the way I told you guys. This part facing this way, I put it in, line this up in the hole when it's over here, and then kind of like work it up and over. Then once I'm up here, I line up the bolts, moving this thing around till I can see the thread holes on the top and then insert the bolts. And once it's there and you're, you got them to where you 
it, li it lines up to where they were, you know, with the mark exactly where they were. Get them snug and then start working out here. Don't forget, we gotta come back and make these tight. Over here now, what we wanna do is, we're gonna put the nut here. We're gonna secure the grommets for the wheel speed sensor. We're gonna insert this here, line it up, put the bolts in, and then we're gonna go ahead and put the brake line where it goes. Okay guys, there you have it. Everything is back the way it was. Got the clip installed for the brake line. Got the grommets installed. Routed exactly how they were before. Got the two bolts nice and tight. Got the sway bar link nice and tight. And got the three ones nice and tight on the top. And that's it, fellas. That's how you do a rear, I mean a front strut on a Nissan Altima. This is an 09, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. While you're here, you should inspect the rest of your suspension and your brakes got the wheel off might as well do whatever you got to do while you're here brakes are easy to do i'll make another video on that so i'm gonna do the same thing on the other side if you guys if you learned something if you like the video please like subscribe is free thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next one thank you